Hello, hello everybody, this is your boy Mr. What If here bringing you a brand new lovely little video on my YouTube channel. And today is going to be another part to What If Deku Was A Joe Star, aka What If Deku Had A Stand. So, in this part I will be covering the students versus students and part one of the USJ attack. So, but we're gonna recap off of last part of the la of the ending for last part. So, in the last part, we ended off with every with Kid, Lee, Neo, and Joey going back to the manor where you, where um you and Trevor are waiting. So when they get back to the manor, you talks about you talks about um how they're gonna be going on a mission in a f in a few in a few weeks. So until then, everybody just train and rest up because we're gonna be going on a mission. So we're gonna time skip to the next day where Leo and Izuku are. In class 1A. So as Lee, so as Azuku and Leo go to class 1A, they get bum rushed by they get bum rushed by basically well Azuku gets bum rushed by the girls in class 1A asking him about his stand. And as the girls are trying to, you know, you know, talk to Deku about like, like, what is the stand capable of? Yeah, what can the stand really do? And then Zuku is just trying to calm down and ask some questions. And this is when Leo would grab Zuku and say, wow, you didn't tell me on your first day that, you know, you got a whole bunch of girls after you, man. And then, and then Azuku be like, "Not funny, Leo." And then Leo be like, "But that one right there is kind of cute." And then Azuku says, "Who?" And then Leo would point to the one with black hair. And then this is when Azuku would say, "Momo Yayorozu." And then Leo would say, "Yeah, her. She's kind of cute, actually." Uh, sorry about that. And then Leo would say, oh, she's kind of cute, actually. And then Zuku would be like, so if she's cute, why not go talk to her? And then Leo would be like, come on now. Um, I'm, 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 I'm that type of guy, but I ain't that type of guy. If you know what I mean. And Zuku was like, right, right. Let's just get to class. And then Leo would be like, all right. And then as they're walking to class, Leo is just talking to Izuku about, like, what do you think they're, they're going to be learning today? And then Izuku be like, well, I don't know. We just have to stay prepared, I guess. And soon as they get into class, and, as a, and <clears throat> after a few minutes they get into class, they end up... After the few minutes they get in the class, All Might ends up bursting through the door. Bursting through the door. All Might yells out, I am entering the door like a normal person. And this is when everybody would be in shock to see All Might. The only person that really wouldn't be in shock but would still be surprised would be Zuku. But he wouldn't be in shock like fanboying. Like being like a big fan like everybody else is. And then this is when Leo would see Zuku not really paying much attention to what All Might is saying and what they're going to be doing. So Leo decides to pull out a straw that he had from this morning when they ate breakfast. And then he has some piece of paper and then he takes a piece of paper and put his... And then, and then he does a little... If you have never done this before, <laughs> if you're bored in school... 
and the teacher's talking too much and not paying attention, this would be a fun way to pass the time. Um, spitball is when you have a straw. When you take a straw that you have, you gotta like take a straw from a cafeteria or something, or just have a straw. Crumble up paper, put it in your mouth, make sure that it's wet and moist with extra saliva on it, and then you shoot out the little paper ball through the straw and try to get it to stick onto somebody. Stick onto, like, it will hit somebody, and then the worst part about it is that once it stick onto somebody, it's onto somebody with the saliva, and it kind of sting. It doesn't sting, but you do feel it. Like, something just, like, hits you. And it's a good way to mess with your friends if you're bored in class. So that's what Leo is doing. And yes, I have done that to my friends plenty of times. Like, come on, why wouldn't I? I'm sitting in class bored, and the teacher's not paying out one attention. You think I ain't going to do that? But, yeah, it's disgusting, but it's a good way to mess with your friends. But, yeah. So that's what Leo decides to do. But every time he does it, but every time he does it, Izuku would just move his head out the way, and he would end up hitting Kotsky. And then Bakugo would turn around yelling, saying, Sorry about that. So Bakugo would turn around, saying, Who the hell did that? And this is when Izuku would point to behind him, which is Leo. And then Leo was just waving, like, what's up? And then Bakugo gets out of his seat and starts yelling, and then All Might has to calm him down. And then Bakugo looks at Leo and says, you're not getting away with that, you bastard. And then Leo was like, whoa, whoa, man, chill. Like, chill, man, just a game, dude. Chill, dude. Just a game, dude. You ain't gotta be all mad. And then Bakugo just scoffs off. And then Izuku says, for some reason... I feel like me and him were supposed to meet up. But hey, I guess guess not. World has a work of world is a full of mystery places and wonders. And everybody would head out to the training field to go do the ex- little fitness training. And then All Might says that today they're going to be doing students versus students, heroes versus villains test. To see how well you guys could work with each other. And this is going to be at random. And then this is when some and this is when somebody would say, Oh, wait a minute, that wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't we most likely partner up with the person that we would have a better advantage with? And then All Might would say exactly. And this is when Deku would cut All Might off saying that they want they the reason why this is random because they know we would pick with the people that are either our friend that is either we seen that has a good court that can match up with ours from the um from earlier when we did that test with Mr. Izal with a fitness test we all seen what each other can do and we would almost like we pair up with somebody we would have a better chance with they're pairing us up random so they could put us with with literally anybody. Like you, Tokiyami, right? And then Tokiyami would be like, yeah. So, if they put you up with, I don't know, Bakugo over there, you two would have kind of a lesser chance, because if you two are fighting together, didn't you tell me that your dark shadow was weak against light? And since his explosion provided off a big burst of light energy, somewhat of it, due to the explosion and bright coloring, it would weaken your dark shadow, so that wouldn't really work. So, most of us here, we have good, you guys have good quirks, but some might not pair up with each other. Some might actually cancel out each other, so you're seeing if that is the case, or isn't the case, or if we can find a way around it. This is when All Might would be impressed and say, correct. And this is when Leo would whisper to Dek, to Izuku saying, show off. And then Izuku would just smirk. And then All Might would pull out two, two plastic balls. And then he says, group A, Izuku, jo- Joey, Izuku, Joestar, and... And... Tokiyami, Dark Shadow. 
versus versus Carmen Army, Denki, and Rio Zeppeli. And then Leo and Izuku look at each other and say, well, that was kind of decisive. So we would, so villain team is going to be Zuku and Tokiyami, hero team, Denki and Zeppeli. And then this is when we would see Izuku and Tokiyami walk into the building where the bomb is and stand there to guard it. And this is when Tokiyami and Izuku will start conversating on what they can do. And Izuku mentions that Tokiyami's cork is kind of like, is actually kind of like a stand, to be honest with you. Is kind of like a stand. And this is when Tokiyami would say that mine is actually a hybrid. It acts and functions like a cork, but it works somewhat like a stand. And then he said, what do you mean? He says, my dark shadow... At nighttime, it becomes completely berserk and crazy powerful. And I really can't control it at all. That's only when I use it at night. When I use it at night and I let it go all out, it becomes completely powerful. And it and it can also manipulate shadows, creating like shadow-like beings and monsters at night. And yeah, I'm making Tokiyami kind of OP in this. Because his cork is not just going to be a cork. It's going to be the fusion between a stand and a cork. It's going to have the stand abilities, but act and function as a cork. Just like Izuku's. So, yeah. And comment down below if you want Tokiyami to be in the Joe Star Because I did this. So, yeah. To be in the, to be in the gang with Joey, and, with Joey and Leo. To be honest with you, I want to put Tokiyami in it. Because his cork, since I'm combining it like a cork in a stand... It would be so good for it. So, yeah. So, please say that you guys want Tokiyama to join the game. So, yeah. Tokiya so, Izuku would be kind of impressed. And Izuku would say, alright. So, I told my stand, Smooth Criminals, to go put shackles randomly in random areas in the building. So, we have a shackle that allows us to use. I told him to go put it somewhere, the shackles, to put them somewhere like cameras so we can see how far they are. And, I, so, now, we'll be able to watch them as they come in a building to see what their game plan might be. And then, Tokyo would be impressed, would be really impressed at his stand, that Izuku's stand can do all of this. So, Izuku and Tokiyami are listening into Denki and Leo's plan, and we will cut to Leo and Denki. So, Leo and Denki, they walk into the building and come up with a plan. Leo mentions that he doesn't have a cork or stand like Izuku, but he has what legends call Hamon. It'll, it's, a, it's a mystical type of training abilities. Technically, it can be used for martial arts as well. The ability of breathing and life energy hormone. His hormone activate, I can use, as you can see, these rose petals, and I can use them by manipulating the wind to manipulate the rose petals and for attacks, or I could turn, or I can enchant the rose petals into flames to do more attack and hurt damage. And then this is when Leo would ask Denki what can he do. And then Denki would say my cork is electrification. I'm able to use high voltage of electricity. But if I use too much I can literally, literally over fry my brain and become stupid. And then Leo starts to giggle a little bit. And then Denki says it's not funny. And then Leo says you gotta admit it's a little funny. When you go overkill using your power, you become stupid. That's like a dumb way to be overpowered. And then Denki puts his head down saying, yeah, I know. And then Leo says, oh, don't be upset about it. That's actually a good thing. 
because you might you might actually be our chance of winning. You know what? You're actually you actually are our chance of winning this. And then this is when Leo and Dan Leo and Danky would get closer and closer to the room where they would walk into the room seeing that there's Izuku. And then Leo said Leo and Danky just see Izuku and Izuku said, Wow, so you guys must have got past Tokiyami. And then Leo and then Leo says, Huh? Of course you would send out somebody that's someone like you to go fight your battles for you. And then Izuku would say, that's how I roll. And this is when all the shackles would z would reappear instantly onto Smooth Criminal. And Smooth Criminal would surround Denki with the shackles. And Denki would get confused. And then out of nowhere... Denki would just start randomly get, would randomly start getting punched by what seems to be a large, dark, shadowy fist. And then Leo sees this, and then he runs over to Denki, getting, getting him out of there by using his hormone to enchant the rose petals to fly through, to fly inside of all the shackles. Actually. Knocking out, actually causing Tokiyami to get knocked out of his hiding spot. So yeah, and then Tokiyami was like, "Who is that guy?" And then Izuku tells Smooth Criminal to put back on his shackles, which Smooth Criminal does. And Izuku says that guy is gonna be our problem. <sighs> pain. And then. Zuku tells Tokiyami, do what I do. And this is when Izuku says, now, smooth criminal. And then smooth criminal would rush towards, rush towards, um, Leo and start yelling out, shoot, 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 shoot. And then Leo is using Hamon to make somewhat of a windshield barrier with the rose petals to hit, you know, to block the attacks. And then. He realized that when. Smooth Criminal. Was throwing punches. He left two shackles. And then when he. Railed back his arms. He shot out the shackles backwards somehow. Towards where Tokiyami is. And Aozuku says now. And Tokiyami used Dark Shadows. Sending. Letting Dark Shadows. Arms go through the shackles and reappear at the other shackles, grabbing on, grabbing on to Leo, and Leo says, "Now, Danky, Danky quickly runs over, quickly, Danky quickly runs over, yelling out, one million point three voltage." Touching Leo, shocking Leo, and freak, shocking Leo, Dark Shadows, Tokiyami, and causing Denki to become stupid, knocking out Leo, and immobilized, stunning and immobilizing Dark Shadow and Tokiyami. And then when Izuku thinks that was kind of a dumb move, Izuku then realizes that, wait a minute, and then Izuku goes over, Izuku realizes that Leo's hand is twitching, and then this is when Leo, and then, when, and then Izuku looks on, and then Izuku feels something soft on his face, and he realizes, wait a minute. And then he, we will see one of those rewind flashbacks. And as Car Car um Denki was electrifying um Leo, some of the rose petals followed the electricity into the shackles. And then L Zuku gets hit with a pound of pressure of gust of wind and fifteen to 
28 rose petals plus a whole lot of gust of wind with just a spark of electricity punching, hitting him right in the face, sending him flying, sending him not back into one of the pillars. And this is when when um Leo would use the last of his energy to form like a wind rose petal hand to touch the bomb with enough pressure to touch the bomb and to clear them victors. And I'll be ending this part off here. I hope you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm sorry that I didn't get to the USJ. But I will be getting to that part in the next part. Hope you guys like, subscribe. And until next time, peace out, fams.